if I'm looking for a wife, I don't want her to have been with like more than five to seven guys personally. So are you gonna hope that the person that you're going to be with at some point hasn't slept with more than seven people than you? He wants a virgin. Yeah. Ideally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like if, if that's genuinely something that you're looking forward to, like more power to you. But I, th I think maybe you should search in your heart for a little bit more empathy. I don't think it's about empathy. I feel that, like why can't I don't think that it's just, about empathy. But why can't that just be his preference? Yeah. It, it can be. I just, I, maybe my personal views are going into that, but I just, that's just me, I guess. I so if I'd slept with a hundred men, mm. how would you feel about that? I feel like you need to get some professional help, Rev. Why do I have to be Virgin Mary? How can you be my wife, my queen, my soulmate? These times men can see See for four ninety nine a month, bruv. Yeah, but Netflix is ten pounds, bruv. Yeah, but then Netflix why? is ten pounds. That means my girl's pussy is worth less than Netflix, bruv. That's mad. Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Do you? People actually care about that shit. Men in general. <laughs> if a man is fucking asking me a body count, he can get fucked. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit. Yes. You. Okay, well then you're talking to the wrong man. If a man is ever asking you about your body count, you're talking to the wrong man and he can get fucked. Like, that's so fucking stupid. So, get fucked. So, can I ask you this then? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, what do you think about the analogy if one key can open many locks, it's known as a master key, as opposed to if you have a lock that can be opened by any key, it's a shitty lock. I think that if a, if a woman is an analogy to you, then you're not fucking ready to be talking to a woman. And you should probably get fucked. So, if a woman is the key to you, talk to your mom. Talk to your sister. Talk to your cousin. I don't know. Get a real fucking life. Let's take a look at the comments. She got triggered as fuck. Her body count, it's all in the crazy eyes, boys. I couldn't agree more. If someone is really confident about their point, they don't need to insult anyone or get nervous. Goddamn, she really acted like a politician and tried to evade all the questions by answering with another question. If you are a virgin nowadays, you are a rare pure being. Yes, a woman with a low body count or a virgin is way more valuable than a bad bitch who has been run through by the entire neighborhood. Modern women think that all they need to do to get men is being good in the bedroom, but men prefer innocent, coachable women, not masculine women who use cuss words every three words. She immediately goes to the shaming part of her four-step plan. I'm guessing she got mad bodies on her. Again, that proves that her body count is through the roof. A man with preferences is shamed, but a woman with preferences is praised. No equality right there, but that's just the way it is. A master key can open many locks, but a shitty lock can be opened by multiple keys. Women are afraid of commitment because they feel like they're going to lose their life, which is a false fear. Men are afraid of commitment because they fear they're going to lose their livelihood, which mm. is a real fear. Think about this, man. You work hard, bust your ass all through your 20s, and now you're finally starting to attract women. And now you're being told to settle down real quick with some chick that's 30 plus also, while she had her fun in her 20s, just screwing away all her value on yachts, private parties, and islands no of course that guy doesn't want to settle down and get married then there's the real fear of, i could lose most of what i've worked for for a better part of a decade some men their whole lives i'm actually quite shocked at how dysfunctional this panel is and how nobody can maintain long-term relationships let me explain right so i'm actually pregnant with a girl right now so i'm having a daughter and being here is like, like terrifying because i have to see like the world that my daughter is going to come up in and i don't want like what you guys are experiencing i would never want or wish for my daughter i don't want my daughter to be used by like some guy in high school or like some guy in college because that's what's going on because we're talking about dating and situationships we're giving our bodies to these men and i don't want her to be used by some guy who could care less you know i want her to be able to exercise discernment and have better options the more bodies you get as a girl, the more your value goes down. What? And what wow. about women? That's your buddies, man. I what get more the... value. My, uh, the more girls I fuck, my value goes up. The more guys you what fuck, your value fuck? goes down. Uh, bro, no. <laughs> it's like, nah, bro. No. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Because you fuck a lot of girls, your value goes down? Goes up. Yeah, goes up. Go, it goes up. If you fuck a lot of guys, your value goes down. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter? 
No, it doesn't. Okay, what's your body count then? Uh, I'm not gonna say it. Exactly. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I could. I could. I could. I could. Yeah, what, 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 what is it? If, if, if you didn't care and it didn't matter, you would say your body count. But it does matter, which is why you don't want to say it. No, it's point. just because it's private. I don't want to say it on the internet because like people are dumb and they're going to be like, I don't know. It's just. But that means it matters. It's yeah. my life. But that it means doesn't it matters. Matter. But people that, are just dumb. That's my point. I that means it, it matters. What makes a high value woman? Oh God. What's that? Concepts foreign to you. Modesty, being demure. Modesty. What does mo modesty? Yeah, modesty in character, modesty in appearance, modesty in her demeanor. You just don't like it when a woman is outspoken. You're intimidated by that. You just met me oh, like 10 minutes well, ago. Okay, and let's... You're... Oh, I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a man of God. I can't do this. I love those people. I pray for them. I would never do anything to hurt them or condemn them. But men are not supposed to dress like women. I'm not going to go along, to go along with that. It's time to stand up and be a man of God. A man of God. Now imagine going to the gym one day and you thought you had a very good session. You come back home. Later in the evening, you are scrolling through the internet and you find yourself on TikTok being branded as a creep simply because one entitled lady recorded you and put you on TikTok. He doesn't stop, stare, talk to you. He just goes about his workout. Also, maybe he's just people watching, lost in thought, looking at you, wondering what is she doing? This is pretty normal. Gyms are shared spaces. People are going to look at you. I look at people all the time. Everybody does. And by the way, you know, you would have never even known that this man was looking at you if you weren't filming. But you're comfortable filming a video for the entire internet to see. But what makes you upset, what makes you uncomfortable is somebody in person that looks at you for a brief second to the point where you feel you can post that video online, shame that man, label him a gym creep just so you can get some likes and attention. Really? You need to do better. Mind your own business. Hey you, American woman, who degrading Filipino woman who cannot speak English and being poor. So what? At least we have morals. What about you? You are the reason why American men, they go out overseas and looking for a wife. Because you are the reason. Here's why. Here's the reason why. Because American women are very feminist. They're feeling entitled. They don't respect their husband. They're argumentative. And what else? They don't clean the house. They don't make themselves look beautiful. They don't have a job. Oh, by the way, most Americans said that American women are very juvenile. And also they said, once you have the, the kids, once you have a kid, you flip your cookie. As for us, Filipino woman, the man that you don't want, we want. Because you know why? We have to, we're gonna give this man a lot of love, respect. We're gonna treat him like a king. We also, you know, we work because we contribute in the household. That's what we do. And we take care of ourselves, first of all. You know, we take care of our family, the elderly, everybody we take care of. So for you to say and degrade us, it's a no-no. We're gonna start clapping because good for you that all the men are not marrying you because they need to be happy. So for all the passport pros, go to the Philippines and find yourself a, a wife. You're not gonna be sorry. You're gonna be happier. So for all the passport, passport pro out there, Are Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like women can that can speak very little English. Wow, what the fuck? Well, for your information, Philippines is one of the fucking largest speaking English nations. And you know, English is one of our language. Well, if they're not the right man for you, then let them go. 
you know it just make you look like you're jealous you're insecure you know look at you if you feel like you're beautiful you're independent why mentioning involving these countries you know even though they have they speak a little english damn like even me, I'm not perfect. My English is not perfect because it's not my first language. And and in the Philippines, we have a lot of dialects. That I can't even speak all of our dialects in the Philippines. And I can't even pronounce them perfectly. So how much more than English, huh? You know? Um. So if you don't want these men to leave your country, then be a better woman than they want to. And if they want to find the woman that they want in, in every country that you guys mentioned then let them go let them go let them find their happiness and be happy for them if they fail then that's that's the risk if it didn't work for them and that's none of your business right so it's like why are you guys pretending i want to be independent woman that and that i don't need a man now you're talking about like this is there a shortage of men right now? Really? Is it cheating? All right, in this situation, yes, because you could tell it's not consensual in their relationship. Yeah. But say, say, um, okay, shout out, shout out, Fresh and Fit Podcast. Man, you give me the best stories. <laughs> say that you working with somebody, right? And the way they make money is through selling. And they do a lot of flirting to get this sale. So it's like, it's part of like what they do and how they do it. But they're not really cheating. They're just trying to get this cash. And then, then just, just, it's a spin. You know what I mean? So let's just hear this conversation uh, between this couple who live together. <laughs> Mm, and what are you, what Man, is going on? Why am I here? You pretty. Who you heard that from? It don't matter. Are you pretty? I might be. By who? I mean, how could it be you if you ain't even home? You never here. So I don't even see you. I gotta wait. call you. Pencil that in and even have time with you. So you saying you pretty? It's not mine. And you living here? Why pay all the bills at? That's the least you could Are do. You like mine? That's the least you could do. What you mean? You've been neglecting me for a long time. So you wouldn't baby me? I don't even hear it from her anyway. Why y'all talking in the first place? That's what I mean. That's the stuff that I've been talking about. That's what I mean. It's simple stuff like that. You can't talk to me, but you can talk to her. How that make sense? You think I'm stupid? You seen up here with a secret baby who's talking about talking What wrong with you? Don't say anything. You just didn't know about it. Why you seen up here with a secret baby who's talking about talking? What wrong with you? Don't say anything. You just didn't know about it. So what is that called? You are, you are a secret. It's called you. Look, you was out of the loop. You just needed to be out of the loop. But you, but you and my. We got a whole kid together. Is that is that my kid? We can we can find out. We can Keisha, call Keisha, more Keisha, if you want to call Keisha, more. Keisha, Keisha, is that my kid? You can call more if you want to call more. So you saying it's not my kid? I'm saying it's a possibility. That a six year old is not my kid. Like ladies, you need to do better. This is not, this is not how you want to show off on social media. This is not the reel that you need to be putting out in, in the internets, in the Instagrams and, and the TikToks. This is not it. Yeah. But it's kind of weird too, because it's like, and we, we keep saying it and it's not penetrating. It's like a sad thing. It's almost as if black women are doing this more and more every time. Like the ladies that went to spring break and purposely got pregnant just to come back and make a whole TikTok and reel to say, we got pregnant and we don't know who the baby daddy is. And it's like, but we have each other. We have each other, we're best friends for life. And I'm like, okay, so you're, it's being glamorized. And it's yeah. become, you know, it's, it's like a broken record. Unfortunately, this big Flava Mama is just one of the very many women so that are gonna keep doing this over and over and over and over again, making every other black woman who's not about this lifestyle, making all of us look like we're idiots. The only thing wrong with this is it's a discussion and it should be a decision. Get out, get your stuff and leave. Go to the dude who fathered the kid. 
women don't understand that men who provide a certain lifestyle have to work long hours to provide it. He's not neglecting you if he's working, he's neglecting you when he's not working or doing anything and still isn't home or doesn't want to spend time with you. That's neglect, dummy. Exactly. A lot of women want the lifestyle that these men provide, but not the sacrifices that come with being with that type of man. I wouldn't be arguing at all. She would be packing her shit and leaving. That took us out. She's pregnant with somebody else's baby, and their current child may not be his. Yet, she has the audacity to have that level of entitlement. The least you can do, the audacity. How are you going to cheat then blame him? It wasn't a secret, you just didn't know about it. What was your name? Celiani. In English? Celiani. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Chili, listen to me. <laughs> Chili, no, no, I don't give a about you immigrants. Listen, I need to know something. I am a citizen. Just can I help you, you with your Chiliani. husband? You can this guy who has a Ferrari, <laughs> this guy who has a Ferrari, Enzo, correct? Yes. You, if you want to make that threesome even better, leave. Like Why literally, would like, I? because threesomes with a girlfriend or wife are just awkward and stupid, and nobody, no guy likes it, and That's everyone's too afraid to say it on a podcast. Women, really, who are not women. So there's a model in his fucking room, and you're there, the you're the Home Depot lady and IKEA lady in his life, ruining the yes. fucking mood. Look, just I, let him fuck the shit out of her. Let him, fuck it. let him let him fucking dog her once alone, and then join. How about that? Enzo, I got your back, bro. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chiliana. You, Yo, you think <laughs> that? What? it makes like having threesomes makes a mature woman it's not no it doesn't make a mature woman it's the women and the men both have to be mature and res and you know have a good connection between that relationship for that to work because what he's saying yes does happen but the problem what, is what about when he starts doing this when he starts going oh oh inside the other girl he's like busting is that traumatic or is that just cute? not at all <laughs> not at all give me a break not at all. Traumatic. we'll see we'll see <laughs> Yeah. Look, that's a Ferrari. I, I will oh, say this. Oh, this guy's wow. fucking crushing. I don't think a lot of times when girls say they're bisexual, it's a fucking lie. They just do it to try to be, impress their guy or. Mm -hmm. Bro, I Uber oh, everywhere and I got hotter girls than uh, you, bro. And so you need me. Can <laughs> I? That's actually my best friend. I have a picture of Ferraris too. Uh, yo, no, I, 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 I guarantee you, oh, I guarantee you, your husband okay. would. Hey. I, Chili, I guarantee your husband with Lambos and Ferraris. Chilliani. I guarantee you, if we compare Instagrams, I fu I'm wearing. Look at me. I'm wearing Crocs. <laughs> I guarantee you I fuck harder models, way more models. He needs Ferraris to fuck one out of tens compared to what I'm <laughs> Yo, imagine when I have the Ferrari. <laughs> this guy's gonna kill himself. There we go. There we go. All right, did you have something you want to say about the bisexual? Because I, I, I gen genuinely believe that most girls that say I'm bisexual, it's a lie. They do okay. it to impress their man For or the to man. be more attractive. Because guys typically want to fuck more girls. Okay, can sure. I say one thing? Yeah, sure, please. Most women will do that because, yes, they want to impress the guy. But realistically, in our nature, if you go back to where God, right? Mm -hmm. Moses, all these, you know, biblical... Let's take the stuff out. It's Jesus is king. Forget Moses. Jesus is king. One of them, boys. Okay, you want to... Didn't right. they have multiple wives? Yeah. Yes. That yeah. lived under one man's household? But the mm -hmm. girls didn't necessarily like the other women. Okay, but they still lived with each other. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that he was actually fornicating with them at the same time. A lot of the times you just go on. Or maybe sometimes he had big orgies. But the point is, is that most girls, I'm talking about especially modern day society, don't really like girls like that. They, It's a cope. They, they say don't, they do, but, but it's a lie. But then why do we have so many lesbian and, and bi women who want to be with lie. other women? It's a lie. Like a lot of times girls go through a phase of like, I'm lesbian. And then they date girls for a while. And they're like, this fucking sucks. This is no, annoying. It's, you know then they go the, back to men. You want to know what's mm -hmm. the, 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 the real reason? It's go ahead. Lesbian relationships do not work. They don't. Yeah. Because it's one and all. Yeah. One for one. No, neither bitch work. will pay for the dinner, so they're starving to death, these cheap fucks. They <laughs> cheap <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. It, it's one and oh one. Yeah. There needs to be a male figure in that relationship yeah. to control and manage and guide leaders. Wait, do yeah. you kiss yeah. women? So how does this No, I do not. You're you're oh. way off the topic here. How does that have to do with women not necessarily really being bisexual? Because in their nature they can be with other women and they can be bi they're indirectly bi but they can admire other women but the yeah. reality is actually having sex with each other hooking up with each other most women don't like other women bro let's keep it a thousand it's true most women don't that's but they can be right. as long as there's a male waiter that's it can my kind point of work. it's not genuine they're doing it for the man that's my argument mm -hmm. yes. they'll do it but they're not doing it at a genuine desire they're doing it for the man that's my argument yes but so you lost no i'm not i'm not 
And that concludes today's discussion on MegTow Voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.